Hey guys, I'm Claire, the Fiddly Fig Girl, and today I want to talk to you about the cousin of a fiddly fig, which is a really, really cool, popular plant, and this is the weeping fig or the ficus benjamina. Now, it's very close to a ficus lorata, but you can see they look completely differently. They're so beautiful, and they're really, really cool plants. So the ficus benjamina looks a lot different than the ficus lorata or the fiddly fig. It's called the weeping fig because it looks like it's sort of weeping or the leaves are sort of tears spilling down from the plant. The leaves are much smaller than a fiddly fig and the branches tend to be much more pliable and flexible than the branches of a fiddly fig. Unlike the fiddly fig, which is from Africa, the weeping fig is actually from Asia, but they both, the fiddle and the ficus benjamina, grow in, natively in Australia. So that's kind of a cool thing they have in common. Just like like the fiddly fig, a ficus benjamina can grow up to 60 feet tall in the wild, but as a house plant, they are typically, you know, around five feet tall or so. You can actually braid the trunks of these plants, and so that's really a cool effect. So if you buy a mature plant, you can actually find some that have braided trunks, which I think is a really cool aesthetic. And they also come in a bonsai form, which is a lot of fun if you're interested in bonsai plants. So to take care of a ficus benjamina, it's a lot like taking care of a fiddly fig. They like very bright, indirect light. They don't like to sit and water, they like sort of fast draining soil, and they like a lot of nutrition. And so you can actually use our fiddly fig plant food on a ficus benjamina. They have about the same nutritional requirements. So I recommend using the fiddly fig plant food every single time you water, about every one to two weeks, so that they get a steady dose of nutrition and they can grow very dark green leaves. As far as soil requirements, they like a very well aerated and fast draining soil, just like a fiddly fig. We make a fiddly fig soil that's perfect for a ficus benjamina as well. In a pinch, you could use cactus soil because that can keep the root ball from getting very wet and they like to just stay pretty dry and pretty well aerated. Ficus benjamina are just like fiddly figs in that they're prone to root rot. What happens when they get root rot is they just drop all of their leaves. And so you're gonna wanna make sure to not water too often. You know, you wanna take care to make sure they don't sit in water, that the root system dries out between watering and that you know, you're not watering more often than every week or so. These plants really like humidity and so you may wanna check the humidity of your house before you get one because if it gets too dry they can get a little finicky and they can drop their leaves create kind of a mess in your home so if you want to check the humidity of your home you can get a humidity meter and figure out what the humidity is as long as you're above 50 percent you're probably fine but if your home is very very dry this might not be the best plant for you so a couple of tips for taking care of a ficus benjamina they really don't like to move think about in the wild they would never move so you're going to want to put them in one spot let them adapt and keep them there my mom has a ficus benjamina that she keeps moving and it is just hating life. I told her just leave it where it is and don't touch it. So she has it outside on her patio and it's slowly growing back all of its leaves, but they do not like to change temperature. They don't like to go inside, outside, or move around your house. The number one thing that they'll do if they're unhappy or stressed is they just drop all of their leaves. So it's a little bit more forgiving than a fiddly fig, whereas if your fiddly fig drops all of its leaves, it can take a long time to recover if it ever does. But a ficus benjamina can drop all of its leaves and then regrow all of its leaves. So a bit easier easier to grow in the long run there if you make mistakes. From a pest perspective, they're susceptible to a lot of the same insects as fiddly figs, and I would say they're a bit more susceptible to insects, so you're gonna wanna just watch them to make sure they're not having any problems. If you see your plant with holes in it, dropping leaves, or something's wrong, just check to see if there are any insects or some spider webbing type looking matter on your plant. That can indicate an insect infection, so you're gonna want to spray it. We have a leaf armor product that will kill any insects and prevent them in the future. Or you could use a neem oil, just any kind of agricultural neem oil, and that will kill all of the insects. You may want to do that outside because of the smell, but these are a bit more susceptible to insects than a fiddly fig. So within the ficus benjamina category, they actually make a lot of cool varieties. So you could see the classic one that was really popular in, you know, the 80s and 90s. If you had a house plant in the 80s and 90s, like maybe your parents had a weeping fig, that is like the number one plant of that time period. You probably had one in your home. But now they make a lot of really cool varieties. There's variegated varieties that I absolutely love and they're easier to grow than a variegated fiddly fig, which is incredibly challenging to grow. They also make this variegated triangularis weeping fig. This is so cool. The leaves look like little heart shapes and they're so beautiful because they're variegated little hearts. I think it's like one of the coolest plants I've ever seen. It would make a great gift for Valentine's Day or you know a romantic anniversary gift. And so this is one of the cool new varieties that are out. So overall, the ficus benjamina 
is definitely gaining in popularity and it makes a great alternative or complement to your fiddle leaf fig. The care requirements are very, very similar. So if you know how to take care of a fiddle leaf fig, it'll be very easy to care for a ficus benjamina. I think they're a little bit easier to care for than a fiddle. And so try it out if you want to add to your collection and just get something different that is also kind of gaining in popularity. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.